Boom! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with a spooky edition of You Ask We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comment section of our videos. Now I don't really know why this is a spooky edition, to be honest, but we do have some spooky props. So let's just have some fun. So these are the questions um, that we got from our live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer them now because we weren't able to answer them then. So let's just get started. Let's answer the first question, shall we? Okay. So the first question is from Learn NXT. Guys, my question was about how can we record system sound when recording screen recording using Filmora? I see that option available for standalone screen recorder. Please help. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you that in Filmora 9. When you open Filmora 9, go to File and under Record Media, choose Record PC Screen. The screen recording options will appear. So in here, make sure that you have the system audio enabled or where it says speaker, that it's enabled. If you also have a mic, you can also select a mic. And that is how you make sure that your system audio is on. So what I would recommend you do is do a test. So record it and see how it sounds and then play it back. Um, and then you'll see if your system audio is on. Okay, cool. Let's get into our next question. This is from Antique World. Minimum configuration requirement for Filmora. Please tell me. Okay, so the technical specifications for PC and Mac can be found on the Filmora website, um, but I will link them in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out. So you'll know what um, system requirements that you need in order for you to use Filmora 9. Okay, cool. All right, that was easy. Get into our next question. This question is from Imran Mahin. Are you both owners of Filmora software? So I'm, I think what Imran is referring to is me and Elliot. Are we both owners of Filmora Software? No, we are not the owners of Filmora Software. We simply work for the Filmora team. <laughs> okay. All right, so this question comes from Lotastic Films. What camera would you recommend for a self-proclaimed YouTube video director? Okay, so it really depends on the vibe that you want to create um, because technically you can use any camera, including your smartphone, really to film your videos for YouTube. So our team uses the Sony a7S II, which is great for our content. It's lightweight, so we can use it while we're on the go or when we're shooting in studio. So think about the content that you're gonna be creating as well as your lifestyle and then do some research and find the right camera for you. So this question comes from Joyas SK. How do you create bass pump effect? All right, so I did some research on what a bass pump effect is. And I did some experimenting with Filmora 9 and it was really fun, so check this out. Pretty cool, right? All right, so let me show you how I made this in Filmora 9. I got this animated GIF of Elliot and I from our video team, but you can use any image or video clip of your choice. Add it to the timeline. You will also need a song with some heavy bass. I chose Living Pulse's Midnight Train from the Filmora 9 music menu. Once you drag the song to the timeline, you will see the waveforms. The areas where the waves are higher is where the bass drops, but you can also listen and add markers so you remember the points where you want the bass bump. Now to create the bass bump effect, align the playhead where you want the bass bump and cut the section of the clip where you want the bass bump to start and finish. Next, you need to copy and paste the clip. This will add a copy to the same timeline. You'll need to move the copy of the clip above the main timeline, above the clip that you just copied. You can then ripple delete the open spaces that's left from the copy. Next, go to the effect tab at the top and click the shake category to find all the shake effects. For this effect, I chose the up down two shake effect and added it right above the copied clip in the timeline. The shake is a bit intense, so I double clicked the shake effect and adjusted the frequency to 400, the X to 0.25, and the Y to 0.20. I also made sure that the RGB separate was off. Now to add the zoom effect, right click on the copied clip and choose crop and zoom. In the pan and zoom option, adjust the endpoint box to slightly smaller than the start point, then click OK. For some added flair, I added the blend mode to the copied zoom clip by double clicking the clip and in the compositing options, I changed the blend mode to lighten. Play it back and you should have a bass bump effect that shakes and zooms. Now all you have to do is repeat the same steps for all the parts in the song where the beat drops or where there's heavy bass. And there you go, that was really cool and really, really fun to do. I had a lot of fun doing that and might do that for my next video somewhere. Yeah, 
Anyways, that is all the questions that we have today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.